Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome to an all new Talkin' Movies. As always, I am your host, the real Gino, Gino Reynolds, and it's days like today that I, I get the honor, uh, the pleasure, uh, this movie, the migraines, to talk to you about movies like Serenity. There will be spoilers. There will be spoilers. The new thriller starring Matthew McConaughey, Anne Hathaway, Diane Lane, Jason Clark. Boy, uh, where do I even begin? Okay, here's the IMDb synopsis, okay? The mysterious past of a fishing boat captain comes back to haunt him when his ex-wife tracks him down with a desperate plea for help, ensnaring his life in a new reality that may not be all that it seems. Now, this movie has some decent talent in it. it it's written and directed by Stephen Knight. Now, Stephen Knight doesn't have a ton of experience directing, <clears throat> but he's written such movies as uh, Locke and Pawn Sacrifice and Redemption, which is a, for me, a, a very underrated Jason Statham movie and, and a great movie, Eastern Promises, but he's also written The Girl in the Spider's Web and Allied and Seventh Son and now uh, Serenity. Um, oh, and by the way, he's... Uh, supposed he's, he's supposed to be working on the World War Z2 script at the moment. So, yay for us. Um, where do I even begin with this movie? Okay. Whew, okay. Um, this movie wants to be a lot of things. It wants to be able to have this serious plot... Uh, about abuse and about uh, loss and def- or doing what's right even if it means doing something that's wrong. It, it wants to be all these things. It wants to be uh, it wants to be deep with its its story. It wants to be thrilling it wants to be sexy but it just comes off as shallow and stupid and boring and laughable and not in the it's so bad it's good kind of way um okay this movie some of you will get this reference, especially if you watch my channel. Uh, some of you will get this reference or this comparison. Some of you may not. Uh, if you don't get it, watch my review of this movie I'm about to mention. As of right now, and it's early in 2019, it's early. Right now, Serenity is this year's London Fields. And when I say that, and I'm about to give away the big twist, you would think this was a Shyamalan movie with the kind of twist that it has. It's London Fields. It's this year's London Fields. The video game. I am not kidding. The story that is being told, Matthew McConaughey is a video game character created by his son... Or at least his son in the real world. You see, Matthew McConaughey's character in real life died in a war. I think it was it, it was Iraq or something like that. It was I think it was Iraq. I don't believe it was Afghanistan, but it was something like that, right? He he died overseas, and his mom remarried this douchebag that beats her all the time. And the kid, uh, they say he's uh, they say. He's gifted. Uh, 
I don't know if they were also saying that maybe he was on maybe the autism spectrum. They didn't really, they never said that the word autism or anything. They said he's gifted and the kid just seemed to kind of, he, if, if he is on the autism spectrum, he's high functioning, but you don't really get to see much of him anyway. He's very quiet. He barely talks. Um, but to cope with the loss of his father and to cope with having to live with this guy that beats the crap out of his mom, he builds this entire computer world where he it, it's based on a memory of him going fishing with his dad when he was three. And so Matthew McConaughey, the character in the game, is trying to catch this big tuna. That's his mission. But then all of a sudden his mission changes. And this is the t- this town, there's this island called Plymouth, ends up being... There's nothing around it, so it, it ends up being created. And he his mission changes and the people around him, everyone knows everything. And he thinks people know something he doesn't. And the acting in this tries to tell this super serious story. And I kinda I kinda understand why the acting was as off as it was, because they wanted it to feel like people that are being programmed. But I know they were trying to do this, but it just didn't work. Uh, you know, the characters just came off, just did not. I mean, I'm sorry. I, I, okay, if this were the time of, say, like, the the original Resident Evil game or something like that, and you try to do this bad of acting uh, to represent a video game, I would get it. And I kind of get what they're doing, but in this day and age where there actually is really good voice acting and mo-capping and everything in games them acting like this and granted yes it's a a kid just building this game so it's not like some studio building it but then again he's supposed to be gifted so they're you know the way they talk about him he he's extremely smart and and he would be the kind of kid that would be able to build an independent game like this by himself and make it pretty awesome uh Granted, I don't know where he's getting all the voice actors from or anything, but that's another story uh, because you got a lot of characters in this and he can't voice them all. Um, So, yeah, that's the whole thing is Matthew McConaughey learns that this, well, people are, someone tells him that that basically this is a game. Um, So you're trying to decide whether or not is it a game or is he just going crazy and at the end, you find out, yes, it's a game because the world starts changing around, changing around it because his son finds a way to contact him from the real world uh, to tell him, I'm going to change the world so I can come visit. But the whole point is, see, the his ex-wife, who's also a character in the game, uh, is married to a millionaire douchebag uh, in the game. And... She wants Matthew McConaughey's character to take him out on his fishing boat and get him drunk and dump him in the ocean. And that's kind of the whole, is he going to do it or not, the whole movie. And what this represents is the kid in the real world trying to uh, trying to get the courage to take a knife and stab his new father-in-law, or his uh, stepfather in the real world that's his courage he's trying to gain the courage to do this and and he ends up doing it whereas and also matthew mcconaughey's character is also able to find a way to uh kill this guy in the game and get away with it um and that's basically the movie um it just tries to be deep and tries to have this bigger meaning but it's stupid it's so stupid it's so full of itself. It's so up its own ass that it's not even entertaining to watch. Again, it's this year's London Fields, the video game. And that is not an exaggeration. That is not a joke. That's what this movie is. And it is already the top of my worst of the year list. And that's surprising. So you have this kind of talent behind it you would have thought we would have gotten at least something worth watching something to attach ourselves to, to this movie that it might be good, but no, every single little thing about this movie is 
stupid. And I don't even know how they roped all this talent into it. This movie sucks. I don't know how it got a wide release. I don't know how it even got made. Don't watch it. Watch anything else. I would recommend pretty much anything over this. Now, this versus London Fields, I think I'll just take the bullet. That is going to be all for this edition of Talking Movies. If you like what you've heard here, please subscribe to the Real Geno YouTube channel. Like this video. And if you've seen this piece of crap and want to comment on it, please feel free to do so in the comment section below. Until next time, I'm your host, the Real Geno, Gino Reynolds, and hopefully... The next movie I watch, which is The Kid That Would Be King, will be much, much better than this. But that being said, by proxy, it probably will be anyway. See you later.